Saba Sheba With the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. All kind of true and perfect praise is due to Allah, to whom belongs whatsoever lies in the heavens and whatsoever lies in the earth. To him alone shall all praise belong in the hereafter, and he is the all-wise, the all-aware. He knows all that goes into the earth, and all that comes forth from it, and all that comes down from the heaven, and all that goes up to it, and he is the ever-merciful, the great protector. And those who disbelieve say, The hour will never come upon us. Say. Why not? By my Lord, who knows the unseen, it is bound to come upon you. Nothing escapes him unobserved, not even so much as an atom's weight in the heavens or in the earth, nor is anything there smaller or greater than that, but is recorded in a book revealing the truth and is governed by a plain law. The hour shall come so that he may reward those who believe and do deeds of righteousness. It is they for whom there awaits protection from the consequences of sin and honorable and generous provision. But as to those who strive hard against our revelations, seeking to frustrate our plan, it is they who will suffer a harrowing punishment of the worst sort. Those who have been given knowledge Know that whatever has been revealed to you from your Lord is the very lasting truth, and that it guides to the path of one who is the Almighty, the highly praiseworthy in his own right. And those who disbelieve say one to another, Shall we show you a man who gives you the important news that when you are dead and broken up into a complete disintegration, you shall then be raised to a new life? Has he forged a lie in the name of Allah, or is he afflicted with madness? Neither of the two, of course, is true. The thing is that those who do not believe in the hereafter are courting a sure agony and are steeped in a dismal error. Do they not see how they are surrounded on all sides by the heaven and the earth that lie before and behind them? If we so please, we can make them low and abased in the land, and thus show some signs of the earth, or let some portion of the clouds fall down upon them, showing some heavenly signs. And behold, there is a sign in this for every penitent servant of God. And certainly we bestowed our gracious favors on David. We said, O you dwellers of the mountains, obey him. And we assigned the birds and the swift-footed horses their duty, and made the iron soft and pliant for him. We said to him, Make full-length coats of mail to cover the whole body, forging lengths of proper measure for their smooth working. And we also said to him and his followers, do righteous deeds. I am a keen observer of what you do. And we made such winds serve Solomon, the blowing of which in the forenoon, and thus helped sailing of his ships, was equal to a voyage of a month by the other ships. Similarly, its blowing in the afternoon was also equal to a voyage of a month by them. And we made a spring of molten copper to flow for him. Also given into his service were some of the jinns, the wild and rebellious mountain tribes, known as Amalekites, who worked under him as trained craftsmen by the command of his lord. And we also told them, whoever of them deviated from and disobeyed our command, that they should obey Solomon, we shall make him suffer the agony of burning. Those jinns, handy craftsmen, made for him, Solomon, whatever he desired, places for worship, and plants and basins as large as the tanks and large and heavy cooking pots well set. And we said, 
act gratefully, O people of David, yet few are my people who are really grateful. And when we ordained death for him, the people only came to know of it through a worthless creature of earth, Solomon's son, that was eating away his father's staff. So when it fell down, the jinn realized then plainly that had they known the secret of the hollowness of the kingdom, they would have never remained in a state of humiliating torment. There was indeed a great sign for Sheba in their homeland. They had two gardens, one on the right and one on the left, and we had said to them, Eat of the provisions, and enjoy the gifts of your Lord, and render him thanks. Yours is a happy and beautiful land, and Lord a great protector. But they turned away. Thereupon we sent against them a devastating flood, and we replaced their two excellent gardens by two other gardens bearing bitter fruit and containing tamarisk and a few nettle shrubs here and there. That is how we recompense them because of their ingratitude. It is only the ungrateful whom we recompense in the like manner. And we had placed between them the Shebians and the towns of Syria, which we had blessed, other towns facing each other and prominently visible, and we had fixed easy journeying stages between them. We said to the people of Sheba, Journey through them by night and day, safe and secure. But due to their ingratitude, they wanted as if to say, Our Lord, make longer the distance between the stages of our journeys. And they did injustice to themselves. So we reduced them to mere legends, and we broke them into complete disintegration and scattered them far and wide. Behold, there are signs in this for all those who are patiently persevering and highly grateful persons. And Iblis found that he judged regarding them correctly, that he would be successful in leading the progeny of Adam astray, accepting only a party of true believers, so all the rest of the people followed him, though he, Iblis, had no authority over them. For it is by their own wrong beliefs and evil deeds that humankind brings about their spiritual ruin. It happened thus, so that we might distinguish those who believed in the hereafter from those who were suffering from doubts about it. Indeed, your Lord is watchful over and preserver of everything. Say, call on those whom you take as gods besides Allah. They possess no power, not even so much as the weight of an atom in the heavens or in the earth. Nor do they share any control over either of them. Nor does he receive any support from these false gods. No intercession will avail with him, except for him about whom he permits it. Those for whom the intercession is permitted will keep waiting until when their hearts are relieved of awe. They would ask one another, what is it that your Lord said? Some of them will reply, He said the truth, and he is the highest, the greatest. Say, who provides you sustenance from the heavens and the earth? Then tell, none other than Allah. Surely we, the believers, are on the right guidance. Nonetheless, you, the disbelievers, are engrossed in evident error. Say, you will not be called upon to account for our sins, nor shall we be called upon to account for your doings. Say, our Lord will bring us together in a battlefield as opponents, and then he will judge between us with the truth, for he alone is the supreme judge, the all-knowing. Say, show me those beings whom you number with him as his associates. By no means should you associate partners with him, for it is Allah alone who is the Almighty, the All-Wise. Prophet, 
we have sent you not but towards entire humankind till the end of time, as a bearer of glad tidings and as a warner. But most people do not know. And they say, Tell us if you speak the truth when this promise will be fulfilled. Say, For you is the appointment of a day which you cannot delay by a single moment and thus avoid it, nor shall you be able to go ahead of it to find an escape from it for a single moment. And those who disbelieve say, We will never believe in this Quran, nor in the books that preceded it. Could you but see their condition, when the wrongdoers will be made to stand before their Lord, they will be bandying words, and so throwing back the blame on one another. Those who had been suppressed and made weak will say, to those who considered themselves superior, had it not been for you, we would surely have been believers. Thereupon those who considered themselves superior will say to those who had been suppressed, and made weak in the world. Was it we who kept you away from following the guidance after it had come to you? No, this was not the case. Rather, you were guilty in your own right. And those who were suppressed and made weak in the world will say to those who considered themselves superior, Nay, we did not become guilty in our own right. Rather, it was due to your schemes which you hatched by day and night, that kept us away from guidance. For then you urged us to disbelieve in Allah and set up equals with him to be worshipped. And they will not be able to conceal their remorse when they see the punishment. We shall put shackles round the necks of these disbelievers. They will be recompensed only according to their actual deeds. We sent no warner to any town, but its corrupted, well-to-do people said, Surely we disbelieve in the messages that you have been sent with. And they also say, We are better off in respect of wealth and children as compared with others, and we are not at all going to be made to suffer. Say, Verily my Lord multiplies the means of livelihood for whom he will, and makes them scant for whom he pleases. But most people do not know the reason behind. Neither your wealth nor your children are a means that can bring you near to us in rank. But it is only those who believe and do righteous deeds, whose faith and virtue will be the means to bring them near to us. They shall have the reward for their virtuous deeds many times over and shall be occupying the lofty places with peace and security. But those who strive hard in their opposition to our messages, seeking to render our plan null and void, and thinking they will escape us, it is they who will be brought to face punishment. Say, Surely my Lord multiplies the means of livelihood for such of his servants as he will, and makes them scant for him whom he pleases. And whatever you spend in some noble cause, he exceeds it in giving reward, so as to leave it behind. He is the best of providers. Never be oblivious of the day when he will gather them all together. Then he will say to the angels, Are these the ones who used to worship you? They will say, Holy is your name. It is you who are our protector against them, not they. It was not us, but the jinns that they worshipped. It was in them that most of them believed, and not in us. So it will be said to the false gods and their worshippers, This day you have no power to help or harm one another. And we shall say to the wrongdoers, Suffer the agony of the fire which you used to cry lies to. And when our clear messages are recited to them, they say, This fellow is but a man who wishes to keep you away from worshipping the gods that your fathers used to worship. And they say of the Quran, This is nothing but a forged lie, unprecedented. And those who disbelieve 
save regarding this perfect truth when it has come to them. This is nothing but a hoax, causing a split among the people. Whereas we had given them none of our books which they studied, nor did we send to them any warner in the recent past before you, that they should have known the abuses involved in forging lies. Their predecessors had also cried lies to the prophets of their time, and these Meccans have not attained even a tenth of that resources of wealth and strength which we had given their predecessors. Yet they cried lies to my messages. So let thee see how terrible was the change I brought about and how tremendous was the result of my disapproval. Say, I advise you to do one thing. It is that you keep Allah before you. Stand up in twos collectively, and ones singly, and then ponder over the teachings of this prophet. You will come to the conclusion that there is no vestige of insanity in this companion of yours, Muhammad. He is only a warner to you of a great calamity which is impending over you. Say, Whatever reward I might have asked of you for my this exhortation, you can keep it with you. I claim my reward only from Allah, for He is the witness over all things. Say, My Lord will do away with falsehood by means of the truth. He is thoroughly aware of the hidden realities. Say, The perfect truth has come in Mecca. And as a prophecy, keep it in mind that falsehood and idol worship has gone never to sprout again from this soil and never to return to it. Say, if I am lost, it is I who suffer the loss for my own faults. But if I am rightly guided, it is entirely due to the truth that my Lord has revealed. Verily he is all hearing, ever nigh. And you will be simply astonished if you could only see when these disbelievers will be in the grip of fear, but then there will be no escape and they will be seized with punishment at a place nearby. Then they will say, We now believe in this Qur'an. But how can the attainment of faith be possible from a position of disbelief so far off? While they had indeed disbelieved in it before, and they were shooting at the unknown and making far-fetched and useless conjectures about the failure of the Prophet and their own triumph from a place far off, a barrier has been placed between them and their longings, and they will fail to see the realization of their heart's desire the failure of the Prophet in his mission, as was done with the people similar to them before this. They too suffered from disquieting doubts.